I'm gonna tell you something that many people online will not tell you just because it's not going to be convenient for them to tell you. They don't want you to know this. But the truth is that you don't need any new exercises. You probably already know all the exercises that you need to do. You don't need any new curl variations. You don't need any squat variations. You don't need any of these fancy exercises that you see on social media. None of those are going to make your workouts better. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people go into social media and they see these big influencers posting different trainings and different workouts pretty much every day. And they, they create this idea on their mind that, oh, I need to change my workouts every day. I need to keep things interesting. One of the things that I, that I hear the most is, Eric, I like to change my workouts um, every other week just because I get bored of the exercises. Now, I wanna be real clear about this. I'm not saying this to be a jerk. I'm just saying it because that's the way it works. Your workout is not designed for you to have fun. Your workout is designed for you to get progress. Your workout is designed for you to get results or it should be designed in that, in that sense. If you're getting fun while doing your workouts, then awesome. Like that's, that's an extra bonus point for you. But the goal of the workout is not to entertain you. The goal of the workout is to give you some results. So a lot of people confuse this idea and whenever they start getting bored of an exercise, whenever they start getting bored of a workout, they change it and they're like, okay, yeah, this is not working anymore because I'm getting bored. I'm just going to try something different. But at the end of the day, why are you working out? Because if you're working out just because you don't have anything better to do, you enjoy working out, you wanna, you wanna just go to a gym and have fun, then be my guest, do whatever you wanna do, have fun, because you'll be succeeding at what your goal is, right? But if your goal is to lose fat, if your goal is to build muscle, if your goal is to get the most out of your time on the gym, you don't need to change workouts, you don't need to change exercises that often. In fact, I would make an argument of you only change exercises or you only change workouts once either they're not working anymore or you've hit a plateau because you don't fix something that's not broken. If you're doing an exercise and it's giving you results, even if it's the worst exercise in the world and, and you hate it and all that stuff, you keep on doing that because it's gonna give you the results. Now think about this. you don't need to enjoy brushing your teeth to brush your teeth every morning, right? I guess some of you might enjoy it. That's not an activity that I personally enjoy too much, uh, but I do it anyways, because I know it's good for me and I know that's when I give me the results, quote unquote, which is basically gonna keep my teeth, right? So when it comes to the workouts, it's the same thing. Like for example, for me, I hate, hate, hate Bulgarian split squats. I hate it, it's the worst exercise ever, but I know those give me an incredible amount of tension on my quads, they give me an incredible mind-muscle connection, and I know if I keep on doing those, my legs are gonna grow, which is one of my goals. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep on doing them. I hate them, yeah, but I'm just gonna keep on doing them because they're giving me the results. Okay, obviously, if it's my day off, I'm not gonna go and do Bulgarian split squats just because I enjoy it, because that's not the case. But if I'm going for results, I'm gonna be going for the thing that's gonna give me the results. So, when you look at all the exercises out there, right? All, if, you, if you go on social media, you're gonna find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It comes down to finding the six, seven, eight, nine exercises that target pretty much all your parts of your body, that you feel a really good contraction, that you feel a good extension, that you feel a good mind-muscle connection, that you feel that your muscle is actually working good. Because for many people, they're gonna be doing exercises just because they see someone else doing it, and they were not really feeling it at all. So for example, for me, for the longest time, I did bar up exercises, okay? One of those like abs exercises where you're hanging from the bar and you're, you're bringing your, your feet up to your, to your arms. And the truth is that that is a phenomenal exercise mechanically for many, many people to target their core. But the way my body is built, I'm not engaging my core at all. I'm hyperextending my hips, I'm upperextending my lower back, and I'm not getting a lot core wise from that specific movement. And for the longest time, I used to use, you know, this is a good exercise, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. And I kept on hurting my back, I kept on not targeting my core. So I was basically losing my time or wasting my time while I was doing this exercise. However, the moment I changed it from that specific variation to a different one, in my case, the, the, the knee to the chest, that's a lot easier for me to engage my core. I'm able to get a lot more response from my, from my abs while doing that, and I'm getting a lot more progress. So at the end of the day, it comes down to finding what are the movements that are suiting you better. Because 
Yeah, push-ups are a great exercise, but if you're doing a push-up and you never feel it in your, in your chest and your technique is fine and you're doing everything correctly and, and you still can't feel it, why would you do it? You just change. Look for a different variation. Look for a different option that is giving you that activation that you're looking for, okay? You cannot or you should not marry to any exercise, no matter how good it is. Squats, deadlifts, bench press, push-ups, pull-ups, all those are really, really great exercises, and for the majority of the people, are going to give them the results that they're looking for. But if for whatever reason, because if your technique is off, because you don't really feel it on your muscles, because your, your, your body is contracted a different way, you're not getting the results you want from that exercise, that's when you change. Okay, when you're doing an exercise, you're not getting the results, or you're not targeting the muscle the way you want to target, that's when you change the exercise and you look for something that's going to give you a better result. But not because you're getting bored of it, but because you're not getting the results. This is what I want to transmit to you in this episode is everything you do should be laser focused on what's going to give me the best results. Not what's going to keep me entertained, not what's going to be fun to do, what's going to give me the best results. Because if you keep that in mind, that's how your workouts will continue to give you progress even after years and years of training, and that's how you can make sure that you're gonna be able to stay to it the longer. All right, so next time that you see an influencer post like a crazy new exercise that you've never seen before with chains and bands and, and all this jazz, just ask yourself, is this actually gonna be better than what I'm doing? Like, is what I'm doing actually not working for me? If that's the case, go ahead, try something different, but if you are already getting the, the results that you want, please, don't, don't fix something that's not broken because in many cases, you're gonna end up in a worse place than you were before. So stick to the movements that you know work for you. If you can not figure out which ones those are, it might be a good idea to get some help from a professional coach who might help you um, figure out what those movements are for you in your case. But once you find those movements, you stick to those until they no longer work and that's when you fix it. You wait until something breaks, to fix it, you wait until you plateau to fix it, and if not, you keep on milking those um, movements and you keep on getting those results. So hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with someone who might benefit from it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to get more nutritional and fitness advice like this. I'll talk to you guys in the next video next week.